Let me show you a few different ways to open a file from your WSL distro inside of VS Code. The first way is simply opening the file, but with a catch. What we want to do is we want to hit Control O to open up the file explorer. From here, let's go up to the navigation bar and type in backslash backslash WSL dollar sign. And this will open up directly to your WSL distro folder. Now you can choose which distro you want to open the file in. For me, I have a bunch of files on my Ubuntu distro, so I'll double click on this to open it. Now it shows you all of the files and folders in the root file system, but for me, the file that I wanna open is in my home directory. So I'll go to the home directory, then I'll go to my user and I'll scroll down and I'm gonna open the bash RC file. Now VS Code wants to make sure that you trust the directory that you're opening because it's from a network source and I know what I'm opening up, so I'm just going to allow it. Now we get another pop-up asking if we trust the file again, and I trust it because I know where it's coming from, so I'm going to just click open. Now that I have this bash RC file, I can make changes to it. I could just add a comment here and hit Control S to save, and it will automatically save to that WSL environment. So that's one quick way. Another quick way is through the terminal. So if I open up the terminal by clicking on the button in the upper right, and you want to make sure that you are using the WSL terminal and not like your command line or PowerShell terminal. And from here, I'm already in my system. So what I want to do is I want to open up a file in my system. So I'm going to change directory to the home directory, and I'm going to open up this same file. Let's first close out of the file up here. And now I'm going to open it up. And to do that, I can just run code and then the name of the file, so bash RC. Now when I hit enter, it will open up in a new VS Code instance. You can see I now have this new VS Code instance and I have the bash RC file able to be edited. A third way is by using a remote connection. In order for this to work, we need to have the correct extension installed. Now I think by default, this WSL extension is already installed, but just in case, you'll need to have this installed. And also you may want to add the remote explorer in order to use the file system inside of VS Code. Once you have both of those installed, let's go in the bottom left and click on this button. It should open up a banner up here. And what we wanna do is we want to connect to WSL using a distro. From here, we want to select the correct distro to connect to. And so I'm gonna use the Ubuntu one since that's the one I've been using. Now it should automatically close out of the instance that you had open and create a new one that you've now connected to your WSL environment. Now from here, it's all the same. We just wanna open up a file. So if I click on open file, or I hit control O or something like that, it will open up a banner to where now I can navigate to get to the file that I want to change. So from here, I'll scroll down and then I'll click on bash RC. Now, again, I get this trust thing where it's asking me, hey, do you trust this file? If not open it in restricted mode, I'm going to open it because I know I can trust it. Now, again, I can do all of my changes and then save it and it will automatically be pushed to my WSL environment. If you're curious, you can do all of this inside of the regular file system. You don't have to be in VS Code to do it. So if I open up my Explorer and then go to the navigation bar and type that backslash backslash WSL dollar sign, it will take me again to that distro page and I can select my distro and then I can scroll down and I can navigate to my home directory. From here, I get this bash RC. I could right click it and open with something else. It doesn't have to be Visual Studio Code. You could open it with any other editor that you have on your system um, and it will work just the same. You can also use that code command line tool to do the exact same. So if I open up command prompt and then type in WSL and then I wanna select my distro to be Ubuntu and then I want to log in with my user being Hunter and hit enter. And now I'm at this page, I'm going to CD tilde and then I will do the code dot bash RC and it should open it up in Visual Studio Code. So there you have it, it automatically opened up in Visual Studio Code. So those are a few different ways that you can open up a WSL file from your home directory or from anywhere inside of Visual Studio Code.